You know, life is an interesting thing. Uh, we have our ups and we have our downs, and there's not a person on the planet that hasn't experienced that. Even Jesus himself had a lot of ups, but had a lot of downs as well. He was discouraged. He had things that didn't go his way. He was tempted himself. One of the things that we have an opportunity as a coach to do is to help prepare our young people to be successful and happy in the future. One of the things that we try to, to relay to our student athletes is give them a clear picture of actually what life is, not only just today, uh, what their athletic experience is like, but later on in the future, in their adult life. One of the things we try to, to convey to them is this. The key to success is not having everything go your way in life. And there are a lot of people that believe that. They think that, you know, I'm going to be successful if I can just kind of line my life up and get it just everything in the right uh, order and be put in the right position. That's not true at all. The key to success is not having everything go well in your life. It's what do you do? How do you respond when things don't go your way? That is going to be the key to success. When things don't go your way, how do you respond? Do you um, cave in? Do you um, do something unethical? Or do you stick to what you know is the right thing to do? Do you uh, strengthen up? Are you resilient, uh, emotionally and mentally resilient to uh, things that would discourage most people? You know, all people get discouraged. All people have things that don't go their way. But when we can respond to those things in not only a way that's going to be um, beneficial to me or to, to the person doing it, but is in line with the way the Bible would say, and that is you keep, you have faith, you trust things. One of the most probably important concepts I think that I've heard is never allow the things that you don't know to replace the things that you know. I don't know what the future holds. I, it could be I could leave where I am right now and, and things would not go well. I don't know what those are, but there are things that I do know. I do know that God loves me. I do know that God has things in control, that he is, is all powerful. And knowing those things, that he has control over my life and that he loves me, those things sustain me. The faith in God and the fact that, that he has my life in his hands is what keeps me going and what keeps me strong.